Hello, beloved children of God. I'm Father Jeff Walker, pastor of St. Thomas More University Parish at the campus of Bowling Green State University. I'm filling in for a few days for my buddy Nick here on Awake in the Word. And today, the word comes to us from the Gospel of Matthew. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slaves said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Friends, the life of Christ is good news, but the lives of Christians, a mixed bag. How often have you heard someone say that they don't want anything to do with organized religion because churches are just filled with hypocrites? Maybe you felt that way yourself. Perhaps you've heard someone doubt their faith in God or in his church because of the scandal caused by abusive leaders, Catholics with public influence who betray the tenets of our faith, or even by the words and actions of our brothers and sisters in the pews. Perhaps you've had those doubts yourself. Today's gospel ought to be a source of consolation and hope for us. The existence of sin in the world is not proof that God doesn't exist, nor is the existence of sinners in the church proof that the church is not of God. Rather, the Lord's telling us with this parable that we should expect a fallen world to be a bit messy. Jesus knows what he's getting into when he entrusts the care of his church, not to angels, but to apostles. It's not the healthy who need a physician after all, but the sick. He doesn't want to choke out the weeds because it's his hope that those weeds might be transformed into wheat. In the end, justice will be done and the weeds will be separated from the wheat. But for now, until the harvest comes, let us trust in the Lord, who is a master at miraculous transformations and an expert at bringing order from chaos. And if you do happen to find a church full of perfect people, as the saying goes, join it and you'll find it's not perfect anymore. For Awaken Catholic, I'm Father Jeff Walker. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word. Awaken the Word is a three-minute daily show that unpacks scripture with practical messages for everyday life. Awaken the Word is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. Spoke Street Media, amplifying the voice of the Creator by fostering content that invites. You can follow Spoke Street Media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.